Mr. Sachs, I'm afraid the news is not good. If I can show you exactly where the tumor is and why we feel that surgery would be of no use. See, it's over. This has I'm face to face with eternity. Quite large being not later, but now. I'm so frightened I can't move, speak, or breathe. Well, you're just fine. There's absolutely nothing here at all. And your tests are all fine. I must admit, I was concerned, given your symptoms. What caused this hearing loss in Monier, I guess we'll never really know for sure. But whatever it was, it's certainly not anything serious at all. I'm very relieved. You don't have cats? The thing. Do you realize what a thread we're all hanging by? Mickey, you're off the hook. You should be celebrating. Can you understand how meaningless everything is? Everything I'm talking about. Our lives, the show, the whole world, it's meaningless. Yeah, but you're not dying. No, I'm not dying now. But, but you know, when I ran out of the hospital, I, I was so thrilled because they told me I was going to be all right. And I'm running down the street, and suddenly I stopped because it hit me. All right, so I'm, you know, I'm not going to go today. I'm okay. I'm not going to go tomorrow. But eventually, I'm going to be in that position. You're just realizing this now? No, I don't realize it now. I know it all the time, but, but I managed to stick it in the back of my mind because it's a very horrible thing to think about. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you a secret? Yes, please. A week ago, I bought a rifle. I went to a store. I bought a rifle. I was going to, you know, if they told me that I had a tumor, I was going to kill myself. The only thing that might have stopped me, might have, is... My parents would be devastated. I would, I would have to shoot them also first. And then I have an aunt and uncle. I would have, you know, it would have been a bloodbath. Well, you know, eventually it, it is going to happen to all of us. Yes, but doesn't that ruin everything for you? That makes everything, you know, it, it just takes the pleasure out of everything. I mean, you're going to die. I'm going to die. The audience is going to die. The network's going to, the sponsor. Everything. I know, I know. And your hamster. Yes. Listen, Kim, I think you snapped your cap. Maybe you need a few weeks in Bermuda or something. Or go to a whorehouse. I can't stay on this show. I gotta get some answers. Otherwise, I'm telling you, I'm gonna do something drastic. 